When is a bike not a bike? When it's this bike, the K1600 GTL from BMW. Yes, it has got two wheels, so technically it is a motorcycle. But to think of it simply as that is to do this bike an enormous injustice, because this is the most astonishing piece of engineering. BMW has always been very good at making touring bikes. Big, comfortable, well-equipped, good to ride, expensive. And yet, with this K1600 GTL, BMW has not only moved the goalposts, but kicked them into the stratosphere. This is BMW's Hyper Tourer. It simply does everything better than any other Tourer on the planet. The attention to detail is astonishing. And yes, it is huge. But boy, is it good. If you don't fancy the humongous massiveness of the GTL, then BMW, for the first time, has made a bagger. Now, a bagger is just an American code word for tourer without a top box. And I have to say, that with its lowered rear end and the contoured panniers, it really does look the part. So if you're a person who's gonna concentrate on doing solo touring and you really do value good looks in a bike, then the K1600 Bagger is the model for you. <laughs> This is probably the best way to look at these two models. The GTL is for touring with your partner, and the bagger is for those of you who like to travel solo. Putting a passenger on this cruiser version is just cruel and unusual punishment when the GTL exists. So far, so brilliant. But there is an issue that we do need to address. Both these bikes weigh in at well over 300 kilograms. The GTL is 360 kilograms, and the Bagger is a hardly waif-like 336 kilograms. Not, you might think, a good recipe for dynamic performance. But, and it's a big but, there's some weird Bavarian black magic going on here because despite their, well, quite frankly, ridiculous size, they handle like something much, much smaller. They handle pretty damn amazingly well, actually. So it's big and it's heavy, and yet when you've got an engine like this underneath you, all that weight doesn't seem to be so much of an issue all of a sudden. Harry's right, you know. It is quite simply a amazing, brilliant, stupendous engine. And you know what? He hasn't even mentioned the best bit yet, which is the noise. Listen to this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And very, very addictive. And not and not very sensible. Don't don't do that. You can barrel into a turn like you would on any bike. You can hold a line like you can on most sport bikes. And if you ever need to brake, well, you're completely covered there as well because the braking power is absolutely, well, what's another word for big? There's just lots of it and there's plenty of feel, fantastic ABS cornering system. Man, I mean, who'd have thought it? A huge bagger that you can actually throw at some corners. Like this. So, an unhealthy and illegal amount of speed. Corner, ah, corner, ah! Oh, that was pretty easy. There's another one just to make myself a little bit more frightened. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, that, yeah, that's handling. That's, that's way fast. 
way faster for a bagger, that's for sure. Well, it used to be fast for a bagger, but BMW has changed the expectations around baggers forever now. The GTL is what it's always been, but now a little better in every area. The bagger, on the other hand, is totally new, sort of. Underneath the skin, they are very much the same, but in this case, the skin is what's really important. The GTL is, well, well, it's not good looking and it's not cool, but it doesn't care because it is quite possibly the ultimate touring bike. The bagger, on the other hand, does care about being cool and has sacrificed some practicality to make sure it is. I like that attitude and I like this bike a lot. Wow, just, just wow. Is that not the biggest surprise of the year? For the last few years, actually, the biggest... Well, it's big. Ironically, it is. Surprise. But it's, it feels so small when you're on it. It shrinks and it, I mean, what do we say? 360 odd kilograms, yeah. not a chance. Not a chance when you're riding it. It is genuinely easier to move around at slow speed, wobbling through the traffic or, you know what you like, in the parking and... It's easier than some, and I'm not lying, some 250s have ridden around the car park. Yeah. The balance is utterly, utterly amazing. You remember when we had those big touring Harleys at the beginning of this I year? I certainly do. And brilliant on the open road, yeah. fantastic. But around town, threading through traffic, you thought so twice about that. Gritting your teeth and thinking, oh, yeah. you don't, and you're putting your feet down. At, oh, no. And that's was... something you don't do on these BMWs. You never put your feet down to dash. Was... Even you turning in the road, which yeah. we do for our job a lot. Threading through traffic, it just, it, you did it without a second thought. The balance was incredible. The engine is mm. incredible. Monumentally <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. That noise, that does not belong. And that power and that torque and that smoothness, yeah, it's all... Listen, we've done all this amazingness. And uh, I think we sort of steered clear of this on purpose. All the electronics, you've got a lot of electronics. I, thought, I just didn't I want to about, touch on it, to I thought honest. about bringing it up whilst we were doing some of the onboard Oh, you did just crash trying to remember was, everything. <laughs> I'd have had to take out a book and start going, hang on a second. No, so... so you've got all your normal traction control, you've got your riding modes. By the way, for me on the bagger, I think it's slightly different on the GTL. Uh, it's got oh, God, road, rain and cruise, because obviously it's a cruiser. Ooh. My goodness me, the ride quality when it's in Smooth. Is brilliant. Really? Absolutely. Brilliant. No, you don't have, you've just got dynamic and. Well, that's another no. part of the electronics, isn't it? Electronic suspension adjustment. Yes, electronic suspension adjustment. Holy moly. A quick shifter, it's auto blipper quick shifter. What's that doing on a cruiser? But I'm so glad it is because it, <laughs> it works brilliantly. I mean, what's 175 Newton meters and 160 watts packed in in a cruiser? So True. I like brakes, huge. Enormous. Simply enormous, yeah. Everything about this bike is enormous, yeah. where, but it doesn't feel enormous. And it's an electric screen so that you can adjust the... You did notice, though, it's always the case with the big bikes. It just kind of, as you're riding, and it, no matter where you've got the screen, it just kind of, you seem to get a bit of a shove in the back. So yeah. you always feel you're being pushed forward a so little you, bit. So you're doing a constant kind of push out yeah. against it, yeah. Not much, you but You need it's... to adjust the screen with that. I didn't get that uh, on the bagger. And despite it being a much smaller screen, still very, very effective. Yes. And I like, I'm getting old now, but I like heated seats. And heated grips. Heated grips, cruise control. And I'm sorry, you can't call that a seat. It is a throne, yes. almost. <laughs> it is so comfortable. It's just, it's an astonishing thing. This, this bike of, uh, has even got aircon. It does, yes. In no, a way, those fold-out flaps. Fold flaps are absolutely fantastic. Yes. They look simple, look completely pointless. And yet, if you do open them up, Sod your streamlining, you get a massive amount of wind blast on you. In a hot day, it's uh, very effective. It is, yeah, it is. Look, is what, there anything you don't like about it? I was going to say, this? what didn't you like about it? Well, I love the bagger because of its looks, but the payoff is the panniers aren't that practical in terms of shape. Yes. And you can't take them off. And why would you want to take them off? Explain to the viewers, please. Because if you can afford a bagger, you can afford five star hotels, and either you or the doorman will just you use them as suitcases, don't yes. you, like on the GTL. You just walk in and there you are, they're your suitcases. So, so now you, you get to the hotel, you've got to kind of scramble everything out in you just hand spa the plastic bags, <laughs> you know, out of your panniers. So. Or it's a pile of knickers and underpants. Yeah. There you go, lad. All right. Depends who you're travelling with. Your missus. Indeed. Thank you. What else didn't you like? 
the multifunction wheel, which you adjust all your dashboard functions and modes and bits of the radio, maybe, and volume, that's really cool and really effective. Unfortunately, though, when you go for the indicators, you can you dab it. that. And that, because it, it, if you push it, it tunes the radio. So yes, it automatically takes the radio out of what you And, and why, to. when they've got this amazing technology, is, there's a row of buttons down the side of the fairing, which is extra radio channel control. Why? No, one's why? rocket launcher, one's flame Well, it would be interesting if that was it. <laughs> um, apart from that, I have to say, it's a truly wonderful surprise of a motorbike. And would you believe, actually, yes. that your bagger is more expensive than my GTL? Why? Don't know. It just is. How much? The GTL is about 325, and the bagger is about 340 something. Well, there you go. Get a GTL and a small hacksaw and whip the top box <laughs> off yourself. Right, we'll be back after the break with more bikes that we've loved throughout this year. <laughs> 